Welcome to the Testing Academy guys my name is Pramod and welcome to the part 2 of the Jira interview question and answers today i have list of important question which are generally i asked if you are someone who haven't watched the part 1 guys here is the part 1 you can go to the link sd.life/jira you will find this video make sure you watch the part 1 okay now come back to the part 2 of the series okay so let's get started and let's discuss about couple of important questions and these two videos are separate guys so you can watch this one also and after one you can watch the video one cool so what exactly is the jira pramod so again i have told you to watch the part one but jira is basically it's a part of a family of a products that basically is created by atlantian and uh, first of all it was started as a bug tracking system and afterward it becomes an issue tracking system and then it becomes a complementary it's become a complex proprietary uh, proprietary issue tracking system for At- atlantian Atlantic. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, so if you go by the de- official definition, it's a proprietary issue tracking system developed by Atlantic. So many times people will ask you what exactly is Zira. So this is the simplest answer that you can get. Cool. Okay, and you will find it here. So I have opened it. Uh, the Zira look like this, and uh, here you can add, you can create a new bug or issue. Okay, interchangeable, and you will see the bug like this. Okay, so. this is this is the one of the bug that i have added you will see the title step to reproduce blah 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 that i have, I have already discussed many times okay so you will find a name a description step to reproduce and all the things okay so this is how jira works what exactly is the jira workflow very important question i think this is the second question that they generally ask you what exactly is the workflow in jira uh, it's nothing but it's a st- set of states state over okay So what is there? It's basically a set of states and transitions that issue can go. So basically, whatever the issue that you have added, right? Right now, uh, so as a QA, you have added. Okay, it's a new bug, and I think it's a bug. You send to a developer, developer, developer basically check that bug, and it will change, make the changes to that state, right? Okay, it's a bug, right? Let me fix it, and after that, it will change the status again. That please retest it, and you will retest again because you see the status there, right? So that's where it's uh, it's here really really handy. You can manage all the things here in the Jira itself. Where you will see this is the workflow. You create you create an issue, right? This is this is very similar. You create an issue. It basically go to a start progress. It becomes in progress. Where developer do something and work around. do something it will close it or it will resolve or it will get reopened there are multiple states okay so it can go anywhere depending upon the uh, where is the i mean how you want to do it okay all right so this is very important so if anyone ask you what is the workflow you can say that uh, generally issues go to the open state in progress state close state reopen state and resolve state okay you can say that cool what are the different types of reports in jira very important question and many times people ask you this question very very silly question and all the reports are available here this is a link to the reports and uh, here let's move to the link here right okay so if you go to the official website you will see this thing like there are uh, more than i think 11 12 reports okay that generally jira supports uh, these are sprint report for example the first one is sprint report it basically determines the commitment what are the tasks that you have taken for example four tasks you have ta- taken up and what is the time for example in 15 days if you haven't finished this uh, the chart look like this it will be finished right in the end so here you will see the what uh, so here you will see the ideal and uh, how you have worked on right so difference okay so this is the one of the report uh, second one is the burn burn down report where you can check uh, track the progress towards the sprints what are the goals and manage your progress and response accordingly i know it's a related theoretical but at least you should know so you, there are multiple reports available like release burn down if you want to release a product you have taken up number of tickets and what are the prog- progress you can map into the bar graph this is there what is your team velocity how many tickets they can do per week per, per week per month and all you can track it in this report okay so this is really helpful uh, you have you can see cumulative reports control charts and there are many many reports available like average age report created versus resolved this is more spe- helpful for managing your bugs and issues pie chart reports you can see and, and time report and many many things so you should know few of them i think uh, that will work most of the time okay move let's move to the mind map again uh, how do you perform the time tracking in jira very important question many times people ask you this question okay how you can do it is you will basically open up your uh, jira ticket this is the jira ticket that we have done and here is the bug one here you will see time tracking there is no time blocked you can say that okay 
I will be working for one day. Time spent one day. Time remaining um, three hour. Okay, so you will see that W is for weeks, D is hours, and okay, so you can mention that what you are working on. Not working. Haha. <laughs> okay. Who cares? I mean, you can add the time tracking here. Okay. Explain these scrum boards. Very, very important. Okay. I, I think I haven't missed something. No? no, nothing. Okay. Explain the scrum board. So scrum boards looks like this. They looks very similar to the Kanban board where you have to do in progress and done. Here in the Kanban board also, you will see the similar ones. You to do in progress and interview. So promote what is the major difference between them. Okay. Scrum is a framework. And Kanban is a just a Japanese term where you visualize what you are working on. Okay. And I'll give you like how, what is the difference? Okay. So what exactly is a Kanban board? Kanban board is nothing, but it's a, if you see here, right? It's a Japanese word for meaning for visual signals. Kanban board is nothing, but you to maximize your efficiency, uh, you can basically create some cards and you can move around to see which is work, where everyone is working. For example, promote is right now working in backlog or in progress or done with a task or haven't started yet you can track all the things okay whereas scrum board is nothing but it's a agile practice right it's a it's a framework that basically allow you to do a work done okay and you can read more about this what is the difference between kanban board and scrum board more in this one but scrum scrum is basically more into agile uh both of both of them in more into more agile right uh scrum is kind of where you have one of the important point is scrum where you have a limited set of time okay for example you have a two week scrum and here in the two weeks, what are the tasks that you are working on? Whereas in Kanbans, you can have like unlimited time and it's up to you where you want to do. If it's up to you guys where you want to do. So you can read more about it. Of course, uh, this difference is important. I have to give you this one. And uh, please make sure uh, you know the difference. Okay. Uh, what is the, uh, what's the best for the, which one is best actually? Kanban or Scrum? It depends upon the team. For example, Kanban board generally a good choice for IT teams. And uh, Scrum, I think you guys are already using it for so for development as well as QA process. Mostly Scrum is important because we are very, very lazy. And uh, if the task is assigned to us and if it is not done in two weeks, then manager will basically start bugging you, right? That's why Scrums come in, okay? Do the task, get the work done with the minimum time and min with incremental nature. Okay, that's uh, more complex. It's very complex. Uh, we have time frames and we have to consider Scrum board also. Whereas in Kanban, IT, IT guys, okay, uh, okay, I have to open a account for this uh, in Jenkins. I'll do it whenever I have a time. Cool. Jira bug bug cycle. Uh, this is really important, guys. And many times this question is asked, uh, which is basically, can you tell me about the life cycle of a bug? Life cycle basically start with a new bug. The basically QA finds a new bug. It it basically assign and uh, it will be fixed uh, it can be reopened also it will be rejected by developer or deferred or probably a duplicate retest it, verified and closed okay make sure you pay attention what can be referred to as an issue so uh, in jira you can uh, you can say that a bug is an issue a project task is an issue help desk ticket is also an issue and a leak request also an issue okay so this is very tricky question many times people ask okay so pay attention how do you create a filters or oh, many times you are asked this question how to create a filters what exactly is the filters filters basically allow you to allow certain kinds of a query based mechanism where you can list out a separate you can basically pull out the separate issues for example i want issues from this date to this date right you can create a filter for it so you will see the filters here in this tab let me show you where you can see here uh, in live here uh, this one is there uh, this one is my personal uh, atlantial demo demo account that i am using guys you can create also you can go to atlantish uh, atlantian start a free trial you can play around with jira for free of cost okay so this is where i have done and here you will see filters okay uh, view all filters i don't have any filter i can create a filter also where i can create a filter okay i think i don't have access i don't know you don't have any filters please try to search and save as a filter okay so here they are saying that you need to search first and then you can save it as okay so you will see this here cool Ah, uh, now very important question. Last one, not the least. What is the difference between Bugzilla and Jira? Jira is a commercial tool, property of Atlantian. Uh, Jira uses JQL, which is a very flexible uh, language to search your issues. Bugzilla is an open source. Uh, Jira has a flexible uh, JQL. 
right but zira uh, bugzilla is also have some kind of filters okay very different than but okay let's open this big one okay uh, bugzilla is free jira is commercial uh, data center deployment is not available available search power uh, in bugzilla it's very basic i mean i have used bugzilla it's very basic uh, queries are there but gql is very really very good okay if you want to get an issue which is basically assigned to that person with had history with the created date and order by and descending so you can do many many things uh, jira has lots extended functionality of course it's a paid proprietary tool so how you will compare this with bugzilla right small people open source okay you can do customized reports integrations many integration available in jira you can add your test cases plans reports and many things marketplaces jira has extended uh, addons also you can do you can do you can create your own sdks and and you can use apis also of jira to update through your automation we are doing it right through automation we update the jira tickets now oh, really helpful right so i hope these are uh, these are the interview questions uh, which i think should be that you should know i hope these are helpful and uh, let me know in the comments if you want part 3 of it where we'll go more deeper through scrums and kanban board and uh, let me know in the comments if you type 3 or possibly say part 3 i will create a part 3 for it okay thanks a lot i'll see you in the next video bye